Okay, so uh, first thing on the agenda is approve the minutes from the meeting of July 26th. Every, has every, everybody reviewed the minutes? Who wants to? Um, do I have a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make, make that motion. Second. I'll second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 All against say no. So minutes are approved. All right, so you say Linda DeMar is not here. You haven't heard anything from her. So I guess we can assume. We can assume that she's not going to be here. If she shows up, we'll put her later in the meeting. Um, so the next thing on the agenda is Two lot subdivision application 2398S, Melinda Harris Clegg. Um, this is the, the plat of the subdivision here. Subdivision of 27.18 or 28 here. The, the application says 0.28. So or the application says 0.18, the plat says 2.8. Okay, well, he, I thought you said 1.8 uh, That we told me over the phone. So we're assuming that the plat. Yes, but it was on the surface. And the uh, lot two is five acres. Yes, that, but I'm dividing off the original. So the original is? It was 34. This whole was 34 on um, that's just that side of the road yes okay and this is corley road um corley road i'm off corley road but the ro where the lots are is on my driveway on your driveway yes on the right hand side my house is on the left side which is a separate lot So you're going to, so the road frontage for these lots is on your driveway then? That is correct. So you're going to convert this driveway to a road? Yes, I forgot to talk about that today. Okay. It would have to be a private drive because I'm creating what he calls three lots. I have my original lot with my house, and then I'm taking this lot and dividing it into two, so there's a potential of three houses. Okay. Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, the 150 feet of road frontage on a public or private road. Correct. Not a driveway, so. Okay. Um, you get a chance to really look at this, Bruce. Okay, so I guess we go through the plat review on that then. I have to pardon my slowness here. I, this is all kind of new to me. Thank you for doing that, Jim. Axel, you know where that's, which particular thing that you go through, subdivision review Sub criteria, I'm assuming. Yeah, I forget, uh, page, page 114. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we start with dimensional requirement. Uh, Dimensional requirements, um, that's lot shapes. Uh, I'm not seeing any problems here. There's no lots that are more than four times as long as they are wide or anything like that. Um, 
frontage. So this five acre lot, uh, you know how many feet are the road it's frontage? For, it's over 250. So it's a bunch of these that are added up. Yes. Okay. That's pretty meticulous stuff. Okay. And 27 acres certainly has plenty of, so this whole section of driveway that you're showing here is going to become private road. Yes. Yeah. Eventually, uh, it, the road is there where this five acre lot is. Eventually, it'll, it, it even goes to the 27 acres. We're just, uh, the driveway right now goes this way and we're just bending it a little. Because what happened is our well was put on 34 acre lot. And that's why we're doing a boundary line adjustment with Tom. There's two boundary line adjustments put within this thing. Yeah, to put it onto the property with the house. Okay. And Hank has asked us to do that. Okay. And that shows on this print here yes, it somewhere. Does. So on this drawing here the house that it shows on the left of the driveway that's your house that's correct. okay and your frontage is actually on Corley road that's correct okay all right i go all the way down to the bridge on my property okay yeah bridge. <laughs> so you meet the requirement for access to lots, usable lots. Um, yep. I'm just gonna speak so that this comes into. I have to go in this to the or you can uh, do this. So while you're talking, I might stand over here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and are your water and wastewater systems designed already? Yes. The one for the house was designed by Bruce Peon a long time ago. And then we have that redo the recent one for the provided in the lot. And is there going to be one for the 27 acre lot or eventually but no okay plans. okay it's a pretty wounded area okay yeah um it's usable for something pretty house <laughs> utilities run right up to your house. Yes, they do. They're in the ground to my house, but they're overhead to the five acre lot. Okay. And for now, there's no plans on extending that to the 27 acre lot. Um, No, the five acre lot runs almost to the house or yeah, beyond. Just... And then, so the power is right there. Okay. All right. Um, street design and layout. This. It's it, you, you meet the the requirements for the road frontage. Where I don't think there's any reason for us to hold you to a higher standard than that on a minor subdivision like this. So ro roads, private roads, to have to have, be named, so you you understand that whole business. Yeah, Tom um, and I talked about it today. Eventually, so my question is, is it when this is approved, I have to turn it into a private road? Or do, is it when Dylan puts his house? It's when we approve it, because we can't approve any lots that don't have frontage on a private road. Okay, so I'll get together with the E911 group. Um, a lot of this other stuff really pertains to major subdivisions. 
uh, fire hydrants, recreation areas, common land. Um, so basically on small subdivisions like this or simple subdivisions, we hold it to the minimum lot size. So minimum lot size for this area, it's a rural residential, right? It's two acres, you, you meet that. The road frontage, the lot shape, um, and really not that much else. Um, you got anything to add to this, Maxfield? On the plat review, um, <clears throat> I would just look at, you know, abutting landowners being listed, True North Arrow, right. Scale, Registered Surveyor. And other oh. than that, I think you got it. So you got the True North Arrow, you have the people to the south, apparently. Um, in your lot, Actually, you have all the people are on the other side of the road from your main lot also. So yeah, I think she has everything. Nelson Farms is on that side. Yeah, she has she has all the landowners all the way around her listed also. Yeah. And wells, uh, wastewater, power, all that stuff's on there. Um, not at this time. Uh, apparently there's only going to be well and wastewater for one of the lots at this time. Um, you said we have approval from the state, but it's not, it's, part. it's a metal system, but it's not drawn on the plot yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know that did it. So, <laughs> um, it does have the well location, doesn't it? It's like a really small dot, but it's on there. Uh, possibly. There's something that says 44 next to it, maybe. Did she submit her wastewater site plan in addition to that plat, or does it have to be on the plat? Does that have to be on the plat, Maxfield? The proposed or the existing? Um, the proposed. That's a good question. I know existing definitely does. I can't remember what the language, if it requires proposed it or not. If it's been designed, yeah, I don't know. It, it, I don't have the the regs right in front of me. Um, so I'm. It's not a big deal. It was just a sidebar. So we we approve subdivisions for lots that have. They don't have to necessarily be building lots. So I'm not sure why we would require. The wastewater systems, the proposed wastewater and water systems to be there. You know, one of these lots isn't going to have any period, but it's still going to be a lot. Yeah, I don't think it's um, critical. I don't think so either. Um, the original house, um, I'm not sure it shows the septic on that either. Guys, yeah. Brian here. At, at the end of the day, it's the state that's going to be approving wastewater, uh, you know, proposals related to adjacency of drinking water sources and that kind of stuff, right? So we don't necessarily need to see it because we're not making that decision. Um, they'll have all the information they need to approve it um, or have already approved it, right? So. I, no, you on, know, plat, on, plat, uh, on plat review, you are required to put on the mylar all of those things. Um, the the state is going to review, you know, isolation areas, but in terms of like the, the filed mylar, it does have to have existing um, utilities. Right. I think the question is not proposed, right? Primarily. Oh yeah, not not important. Okay. So, should I call Matt and ask him to put that on, and it would be approved with that? <laughs> um, well, that might be getting a little ahead of ahead of where we are, but that might be one of the things. I mean, if it's required for this is for your house, really only. Mm -hmm. um, it might be good to add it in on the the, the lot that does have it. Some of this, um, 
got into the plat review at a time when we were actually going to regulate um, isolation distances, well shields and septic shields on the neighboring properties. And the state stepped in and said, you can't, you can't do that. So um, other than that, it seems to be um, pretty well that here, Maxfield. I have a motion to accept or approve the application as filed with the um, condition that the existing water and wastewater be depicted on the plot. So moved. Second. I'll All second. second. All in favor say aye. 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 All aye. against say nay. Motion is approved. Hi guys. Happy hack. Roy, you're here again. No, we pick, we, we're, Jennifer's going to deal with it, but we're picking up on Bob Milton's. We've uh, come up with our proposal to change it to a six lot. Jennifer. Well, I, I slid in at the very last moment and didn't give you any time to look it over. So I apologize for that. But we spoke with the property owner and he's willing to combine lots five and seven, make them into one. So it's a six lot subdivision um, that will hopefully meet all of the conditions necessary to forward. So that leaves you with how much road frontage for 151. Did write you a, a very nice little letter that gives you all the road frontages. Okay. In some way, yeah, okay. Yeah. So everybody's got at least 157 feet. So a lot for the one with the least, uh, lot six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're just kind of hope, hoping for a preliminary, so we can we can move on to the permit phase of things. If this is going to fly with you guys, hopefully, um, we do now have the challenge of the fact that the surveyor is deceased. So part of the reason that I was asking about those those flat needs is it's we're going to have to figure that out. We were hoping that we were going to be able to to combine those proposed lots by deed. Combine five and seven and call it lot five, seven, and nine acres or whatever it adds up to and restrict it to a single uh, residential use. And on the on the wastewater permit that the owner had obtained, five and seven had individual wastewater and potable water sites. So hopefully we can use one for the house site, whatever that may be. But again, the surveyor issue is, is I've got a red flag in the back of my head popping up. <laughs> so what you're asking for is to put five and seven together, but not necessarily file a new plot. Correct. Just have it called out on D that it's by description and restrict it. And that can be a condition in the zoning as well. Okay. Any thoughts on that? You understand what they're trying to do here, Maxfield? I I do. I kind of got a brief look that there looked like there were three sort of uniform lots and then there's the one that had the right away looking thing and then a, a one after it right yes yeah so, so that is not the proposed that that's it's going to look different than that yeah so so our our objection the last time they came in for a review was that um that one lot that was in the back only had a 50 foot right of way actually that was 
it owned that strip as part of lot right but it's, still, but it's still only it looks like a right away but the road front but it lacked the, the proper frontage it only had like 66 feet 60, okay so it wasn't 50 feet it was 60 and it's almost six right angles yeah. right angles as it goes down it's 50 but along the road it was like sure 60. sure we're we're proposing to uh merge those by description into a single lot restricted to you for one residential um, and it'll be a nine whatever that adds up to it's a two plus acre and a seven plus acre lot be one lot right so it would be three like regular shaped lots and then sort of like an l-shaped one at the end there that goes around behind the first three so there's there's one lot six top topographically really shouldn't be combined with anybody else it kind of has to stand on its own so we're going to combine the one with the weird right of way next to the one beside it and then there will be um, three more regular lots moving down the road from there Probably be easier if you could see it. It wouldn't be. Yeah, I kind of yeah. got a glance. <laughs> Let me get it right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. And that's not the whole flat. So uh, well, that gets there's four. Up. There's four regular lots headed down the hill on Brookview Lane. Lot six is the highest up on the hill. And then we want to put five and seven as one with an L dog laying kind of around the back of the first four lots. Okay, so <clears throat> three, four, and six stay as they are. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. Now, lot, then, what, what it's showing is the 7.4 acre lot seven is uh, got the entirety of the Elmore Brook frontage on that parcel of land. And Jim, you can, I, the numbers are a little small. Can uh, is a regular shaped lot would fit on the road frontage of five and seven combined? Um, 51. Yes, it, it would. It would have been questionable for lot five that it would have, but five and seven combined, it does. Okay. I think uh, lot lot seven had sixty four feet or something, and the other one had a little over a little over one hundred and fifty. Right. Yeah. So together they got plenty as a single lot. Right. It would have been close with lot five with only one hundred and fifty feet, mm -hmm. um, but with the two together, you know, we had actually somebody would have had to actually taken out a calculator and <laughs> we did we that. Did that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so lots one and two, I don't know if I've ever really seen. Oh, that's, I don't know if you have the version in there. If you don't, I've got it. I guess I do. That's, yeah, that one is the um, wastewater, and this one's the sewer. So those are all regular shaped. Uh... So. So. Or seven, but it widens up. So, um, uh, yeah, I see no issues as far as lot shapes go. I guess it's just uh, a dotted line you see that runs more or less parallel with Brook and with a with the uh, New Lane Road. And that's the top of the embankment where it pitches down. Yeah. All 
So I guess the question is, are we okay with having this survey here, this plot, um, not modifying it, but just calling out um, the uh, deeds at lot seven and lots five are combined? So we're uh, we're just kind of doing a, a sketch plan review. Right now we are, yeah, but we're trying okay. to figure out how to move forward with. So be, because the surveyors deceased, um, it's tricky. It's a tricky situation. Sure. The, the numbers seem legit, I guess. And we can do a two first. The board can put a condition that we merge it, and we can agree to. Put a deed restriction in the conveyance as part of that. But right. Our client is, you know, the, the, you know, the survey that. survey is all there. Right. So it's, it's a little different than you should deal with here. Whoever whoever winds up with it could choose whichever septic system they wanted to use. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd even be willing to throw something in there that whoever ends up buying that parcel has to have it surveyed and recorded with the town to offset this issue, if that's a thing. Um, I understand why it needs to be the way it is, but. Personally, I don't really be a reason for reflecting. I mean, we can restrict the deed and that's probably got as much force or more than the board's. Right. And so. Right. As long as it's clear in the deed that they are one. Not to say they can't be subdivided in the future. No rules change. Well, that or somebody builds a road into there. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll cross that bridge. Yeah, we won't restrict them from coming back to the board. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, so this is just a sketch review right now. Okay. Just a clarification before, I guess we got to do an application with Tom for a hearing and then we'll... Yeah. Okay. We just want to make sure we're meeting all the marks before we did that. Yeah. That's a way to finish up something that can be finished up, I think. Yeah. Anybody else got any issues that they see with us? No, I don't. I don't have any issue with it. Okay. Oh, I think it's the need to have some real clear language in there because someone coming in not hearing on is going to see that. That's going to be see yeah. a wastewater thing. And you know what is going on? Mm -hmm. Need some kind of addendum, something to make it clear. That's going to be in the deeds. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll write up something in our application. And we'd, yes. we'd expect to see it recited in the approval. And if I do it to your satisfaction, you can just duplicate what we put in. But that's, that's, it's almost, it'll be like a covenant where we'll agree to a covenant to, on that combined lot. Right. The other, the others are all right. We won't have to do anything with them. Right. Got some kind of a road companies and getting a lot of people down there fighting over their road. Yeah. Well, I've, I've, if you remember years ago when Jay Dolan was here trying to get his Act 250, yeah. then chairman of the board said to me, Why don't you help this guy and break that? And I said, I said, You know, that's fine, but I can't inject myself into his program. But if he wants to come by, I'll do it. He came by, I did it. And then he deeded the things away, never recited the goddamn thing in any of the deeds. <laughs> so, and we as try as I might over the years to get people to move several subdivisions to join together. They all say we don't want to be involved. So, well, I, I don't find that it's true. Right? Well, it's, it's, it's true. <laughs> Well, you've got this subdivision and another three lot coming up. You're putting another bunch of houses out. The original subdivision that Theodore Barnett created he started in 1975. Everyone who got a deed to that got a right in common 
for access, a right away in common. And that was acceptable in those days. So right away in common is common right to use and common obligation to maintain. Then it came a time when the state legislature passed the rule because of some banking issue, nobody would loan money on private roads. They said you had to have Com you had to have an association of owners and obligations. So I cre created one for Dolan, I created one for Audie Barnett, I created one for Tolman, all identical, describing their properties, and they all indicated that they would work together with anyone else having the right to eat. And several organizational hearings with people that were involved in that and none of them, not a one, would agree to participate in the association as um, a member, although they're members because of the deeding. Mrs. Barnett was, went to the Secretary of State and got it filed, um, appointed me as one of the directors, her sons, the chairman, she was the treasurer. We opened an account. We operated the thing for several years. She sold her last lot, tried to get someone to take it over. They all refused. That's where it stands. <laughs> they all say they don't want to be involved. Well, you can have all the damn rules you want, but if nobody will participate, that's what you get. <laughs> so how do you live here? How do you care? Mm -hmm. You live there. Have you heard anything about road associations and your deeds or anything? No, and <clears throat> which property did you buy from? I own lot eight, and what I have for oh yeah, that's right, that's right, yes, yeah, yeah, that's the Audie Barnett. You have an association of owners agreement in your deed. It's part of the association, yes, and my mapping is like looks nothing like what you presented. That's not your subdivision. Right, we're in a, we're in a different parcel. It, are you on Brookview Lane? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the one one boundary line, your bottom boundary line is the. So no. I'm looking at this is Brookview Lane, and you're saying seven and five. So oh, so we we can use. We're not the same number seven and five. Okay. We're off a different parcel. All oh, right. And Richard, the Nolan's lot six, but yours. I'm um, I'm having it's down here is where uh, what I understood uh, no uh, excuse me yeah he still owns the whole parcel without any of those divisions right now okay yeah well, this is what was in question with me so this has nothing to do with this no that would be our lot six okay this right here yeah if I'm if I'm looking at this yeah, yeah this is little dirt road this is dirt road. And, oh, I thought it was on the second. That's what I'm saying. Why? Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. We're up higher today. You're up here. Yeah. So I'm, that's why I'm there's saying. a lot. There's all oh, kinds of five, seven, six. Yeah. 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 This, this is your block right here. Right. Yeah, what's up? Where's the line? It's right here. All right. Mine's here. Yeah, your driveway is up here. Over yeah. Over. And it's this right here. Um, here to whatever next lot is that I'm thinking about. Who owns this part here? You own down to here. Yeah, that's here. Who owns this then? Not the bottom dollars. Okay. All right. So it's good that I'm here still because my subject is my legion. No, your subject is way back in here. But I'm, I'm just going by the use of this as my driveway. No, your driveway's up here. This is the very bottom of your lot. Yeah. And here, and, and this here, this is somebody, this is your book. Yeah. This is your plan. Yeah. 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 Oh, that disappeared. That's why I wanted the. Uh, That's not your lot. This is my lot. This is lot eight. Like I said, that is lot eight. That is my lot. This is a little dirt road. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh,
staging for this one. So I think we would. This is what it was doing now, but this is how I thought the plan the engineer's plan is the engineer's plan. Surveys. Mm -hmm. The surveys are here. She's complaining that they're right. playing right here at the boundary. Yeah. That line right there. Yeah. This is fine right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, the well, they had a new updated one, and I want to do updating all this other stuff. Updated of what? My lot against this lot. That's all. We have to have a survey. Yeah. And there was something that you were here for with wastewater coordination. And I was getting and I was looking kind of said, this has nothing to do with yours except you share a common ground. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. He thought because my leach field and septic and all that's here. Well, like I said, it has nothing to do with yours. Yours is all about that. Picture? Take a picture if you want. <laughs> and we do have a small copy of that in the file. Yeah. I know it's really tiny, and I'd be happy to email you one so you can actually read it. Is that this number? It's that. I. No one's asked, so I, I'd be happy to do it, Joe. I don't have a little copy of the survey with me, but I can email you that as well, so you can look at it bigger, blow it up, and whatever. Did we answer all the questions you had? The only issue was the road dislocation since he bought the lot eight. All the discussions of anybody dealing with the owners association went on before she got her lot. At some point, you give up trying to <laughs> try to get people to go along. Apparently, they get along all right. The road's in pretty good shape. The snow gets plowed. Uh, but they don't want to be involved in formal organizations, I guess. But well, <laughs> as of right now, anyway, in our subdivision rules, we do not mandate road associations. So what happens is when somebody goes to sell and somebody's looking for a mortgage, and the underwriter says, "What was your association agreement?" We got them and filed. With Tom's got them in the, in the zoning files for Barnett, for Tallman, and I presume for Dolan. And then there are those of us that had lots down there that haven't been subdivided and so forth and so on that still have the right under the original right of way in common. So much for leading the horse to water. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's frustrating to, to have all these things we have to do and then have people say, you know. And then they complain when they can't get their mortgage or the sale falls through. <laughs> well, that's that's the big uh, enforcer right there, isn't it? Unfortunately, uh, this seems to be the uh, real estate brokers and the real estate attorneys that enforce most of the health ordinances and most of the zoning ordinances. The zoning. But it gets done at some point. Yeah, you can put it off, but eventually. Does that bite you on the tush at some point? <laughs> so do we have any other business in front of the board this evening? That's all we had on the agenda. And I just want to look at the also theirs. I, I we can, I we think can we're premature on that. Yeah, I think we're a little early on this yeah. one. We'll come yeah. back with it. Yeah, we've got the uh, fault things going, but we've got to get a little further along with our clients. It's, he seems to have an understanding problem. It's the uh, one that you presented to us last Yeah, four, uh, the four one that we've shrunk to three. Same road. Yeah. yeah. He thinks seems to think that we can just offer them for sale and somehow the permits will be issued Not after he sells them. I wish it could be magic, but it's not. I'm not willing to do that. 
Uh, yeah. We'll be we'll be ready for that soon. Yeah. Okay. I think we've got it in a form that will work. We'll get but it shrunk down to. So they all got enough road frontage and minimum acreage. No shared driveways and stuff like that. All right. Well, if there's no further business, uh, can I get a motion to adjourn? They'll make that motion to adjourn. Second. I'll second. Okay, meeting's over. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you very much, you guys. Yeah. Like I said, right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you.